assalamu alaikum salam um, my question is that uh, what are the ways and how should we con develop concern among our children um, definitely there might be two ways that fear or love how should we develop the love for akhira among ourselves and for our kids jazakumullah khair the fear and love factor when it comes to children we need to strike the correct balance the environment is changing very rapidly and the the world is changing very rapidly some time back we could crack the whip today before you crack the whip subhanallah you will be cracked so at the same time we need to make sure that we 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 befriend our children in such a way that they know they are close to us and at the same time they know they have to take instruction from us as well i have been benefited a lot from the issue of convincing children rather than instructing them so where you say read your salah fulfill your salah explain to them the reasoning convince them to say you know it will help you a lot when you die i normally tell my children you know fulfill your salah so your link with allah is powerful the day i'm not there you will have a, a powerful link with allah and you know allah will help you in so many different ways so to convince your children is far better than to instruct them because when we instruct them nowadays the inquisitive child will probably say they don't even have an explanation for what they're telling me to do another thing is it will increase our knowledge because when a child wants to know why you are telling them what you are telling them you will need to research as well you will need to come up with answers and this will not happen just like that you need to read you need to perhaps get back to your child like i said okay th th there is no simple solution for what you've said we need to strike the balance perhaps speak to other parents about how they are coping with their children i know some people are not comfortable to speak much but you will find those who will speak and learn from the experiences of others in a similar environment my environment might be quite different someone living in the states might be going through a totally different uh, type of problem and those living perhaps in in other countries might be going through other types of issues if you are a person who can communicate with others uh, even if you search on the net i know of some mothers and fathers as well who who would probably look on the internet of meaning for 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 parents who are ready to discuss how and what has been effective in the lives of their own children and benefit from it so alhamdulillah obviously what i've learned from the quran and sunnah is that if we are our children's own role models they stand a better chance to follow what we would do that's it's a god given gift that your child does what he sees you doing so if you are a soft spoken person and good and so on and you ensure that your child's upbringing is not far from that environment even outside the home then you're heading in the right direction the biggest mistake we make we've got a beautiful environment in the home and suddenly as we leave the home as the, the schools we choose for the child are so bad that everyone at the school is full of materialism and their mind is heading in the wrong direction and so on and we expect the child to still remain in in the same thinking line as we are that's quite difficult because every day the child is bombarded they get it from you then they get it from the television you allow them to watch and then they get it from the environment that you have sent them into and they come back home totally confused and they don't know who to follow and you know who they'll follow at the end perhaps their friends because today the impact that friends have on children far greater than parents may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us I appreciate that I may not have done justice to the question but all I've done is given you uh, a little bit of that rod inshallah you can do the rest of the fishing we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us we all I, I have seven children of my own and trust me alhamdulillah rabbil alameen it's quite a mission looking after children with all the responsibilities you have you ask Allah you call out to Allah you communicate with the children and you hope for the best May Allah bless us all and make it easy for us. Jazakumullah khair. We hope to see you tomorrow if Allah gives us the life and the opportunity to do that. Until then, wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.